question. Uh, I'm uh, Sun Feng Liu from, uh, from Nankai University uh, from China. Um, today, I want to share my research is about smart materials, smart polymer materials by deformable structures. Uh, and these uh, structures are uh, applied in the uh, devices, smart devices like artificial muscles uh, in cooling and uh, for artificial muscles uh, for, for uh, variable electronics. So uh, actually the materials, the history of uh, materials is actually a history of a human civilization. People developed different types of materials for human civilization and from the stone age to steam engine to and to electronic age and the next age is intelligence age. So in the next age, uh, what, what, we, uh, what we do actually uh, is the intelligent materials. However, uh, for this intelligent materials is actually uh, um, biomimetic materials uh, to, uh, mimet, uh, to mimic the human, to mimic the uh, biology things. And in nature, actually, there are a lot of uh, uh, structures you will see, uh, like the shell, like DNA, uh, even, uh, uh, even in the uh, uh, graphene, uh, there are a lot of deformable uh, structures like uh, twisted uh, structure, coiled structure, or the, this curved structure. These periodic structures actually can make the uh, rigid material a uh, high elasticity, a uh, high to make it a uh, very tough. So here I show that except for these mechanical properties and there there is such a periodic structure can help improve the thermal properties and the elect, uh, electrical properties. Uh, here I show some examples of how, how we mimic these structures. The first is artificial spider silk. So what is artificial spider silk? It's actually a very a strong and a tough fiber. So the strong, when you stretch the fiber, you see such a curve. Uh, this is the stress, the break point. So it will be very strong and it can extend a lot. So uh, the toughness is uh, the, the area uh, in this region, uh, the area in this region. So uh, what is uh, the, uh, <clears throat> the artificial spider cycle actually uh, uh, when you uh, when you see uh, when you uh, have uh, some emergency, you want to uh, fall uh, from the high, uh, very very elevated uh, region, uh, very high region, and you have uh, such a a rope or artificial spider silk. So it is strong, so it does not break, and it can extend long, so that the impact is uh, small, and it, it does not rebound like a rubber. So, uh, uh, so this curve, so you stretch like in this curve, it returns this curve, so all this energy is absorbed. And uh, uh, if, uh, uh, if you see such a, uh, a structure of the spider, you will, uh, you will uh, uh, see that this is the, 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 the protein and in a gel-like fiber, it has formed a plastic shell with elastic core in this, uh, in this fibers, there is a nano uh, sized uh, fibers. This nano in the nano sized fibers, they are cross-linking size. So it's actually a physical cross-link by beta sheet. So this is a hierarchical structure. So how do we mimic this uh, hierarchical structure? We use a hydrogel, we draw a fiber and we insert a twist. Uh, actually it forms uh, such a hierarchical structure with uh, uh, chemical crosslinks and hydrogen bonding. Uh, you, uh, the left one is the artificial spider silk. So the right one, is the the red one is the the the, the cotton 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 yarn. So, so this this one it drops very slowly and stable. Here we we weave uh, we weave a web. This is the artificial spider silk. The egg fall from one meter high and uh, was catched uh, very safely. This is the cotton textile, the egg fall uh, and break. If you replace this cotton textile and with a rubber rubber uh, fiber, with rubber, uh, it will uh, rebound uh, 
uh, very serious. So, so our artificial spider silk uh, can easily absorb a lot of energy. And another thing is that it can re self repair in a moisture atmosphere so that the web it does not uh, destroy. Uh, so here we can mimic the, <clears throat> the stress, the elongation, the toughness uh, of the hydrogel, uh, uh, of the spider silk using a hydrogel fiber. So this is our first example. Uh, now this is the detailed synthesis procedure. Uh, actually it's very easy and you insert a twist and now we can uh, spin uh, continuously. It can reach a very uh, good uh, strength and, uh, and, uh, and a strain. The second one is the spiral, how we use a spiral structure uh, for cooling, actually cooling is a uh, highly needed uh, in the in the in the in the world. Uh, it costs about twenty percent of global electricity. However, the current cooling technology, the efficiency is low. Uh, even if you uh, uh, you use the very high efficiency one, uh, the 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 <coughs> the gas uh, the it, it also uh, emit a lot of uh, gas to to cause. Uh, um, uh, global global warming. Uh, so the solid state cooling uh, is highly desired. The solid state cooling, their problem of hysteresis and efficiency is low. So how we increase this efficiency? We find when when we when we stretch stretch a rubber, it cools. But when, when we stretch rubber, it, it heats. So this is a very ancient very ancient uh, uh, phenomenon. But uh, but when you insert a twist, we, we find that the kernel efficiency increase almost double. This is because in the uh, in the stretch direction and in the twist direction, there are uh, entropy change in these both directions. So uh, the entropy change increase and Uh,
it is reversible. Uh, it is it, has, it can return the lens after it you you dry after you dry. So uh, uh, in this by this phenomena by this design principle, we weave a smart uh, uh, textile and uh, uh, smart clothes. Uh, so in the vertically, this is the smart textile. In the in the horizontally, it is a a a common uh, common. Uh, 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 textile. So, uh, <clears throat> so we, we, we realize the smart uh, smart one. Uh, another thing is that you can also preserve the twist by by using chemical bond after you insert twist. And uh, if you insert uh, if you insert twist and uh, and uh, uh, and preserve the twist uh, and preserve the twist, you get a higher. Um, uh, contracting when when there is a mixture, uh, when there is a monster, and it is also uh, and it is also uh, reversible. Uh, this is reversible, uh, and uh, this is the third example. Our final example is a buckling, uh, buckling, uh, 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 the, the buckling uh, uh, <coughs> architecture. Actually, people use the buckling to help improving the electrical stability under the Deformation. If you stretch a barcode uh, conductor, it will uh, it will can elongate. But when you prepare such a uh, thing, you will find there is uh, always you find there's a crack in the radial direction. So how to avoid this radial direction is a problem. Now avoid the, the crack in the radial direction is a problem. So what we use we use a zero percent ratio material. So in it is highly desired, highly aligned material. You coat this highly aligned material in the uh, in the rubber uh, surface, and after you uh, you release the stretch, uh, you release the stretch. There is a, a buckles, and it will not break. So we realize a very high stretchability over over one thousand percent, and. And you you get very stable resistance, very stable resistance. So uh, if we use this buckle structure and make it a contact, uh, we, we use a two layer buckle structure. This uh, the, the 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 base is a rubber, and we use we we stretch and we coat a rubber layer and we coat a conductor layer again. And if after you release the stretch, uh, you get these buckles. You stretch and the buckle decontact and the resistance increase. So you get a resistance screen sensor. Uh, we use this screen sensor to uh, mimic the human muscle. Human muscle, this is a muscle fiber. This is uh, uh, the, the uh, neuron fiber. And also there is a, a sensor, screen sensor. So what we use is we use a rubber fiber to, to mimic the muscle. We use the carbon nanotube layer to mimic the neuron and, and the screen sensor. So we prepare a multifunctional artificial muscle to mimic the human muscle. So all the above is our research. Is we base on the, the such uh, buckling, bending, deformable materials, and we prepare a, a lot of applications, uh, smart materials. Here is our uh, collaborators and our students and buddies. Thank you. Thank you very much for your attention.